Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. How are you all going today? Happy Wednesday guys, happy Wednesday. Uh, I felt like vlogging for you guys today. Uh, it's been a few days, or actually a week, I had a break of vlogging. Did I have a break? I had a break of vlogging last week because I was just so busy at work. Oh, it's coming up to the holidays now, guys. I've got less than two weeks to go till I finish work, so I am just, oof. I can't wait for a break and just have a real chill, relax and recoup. And I'll be doing a lot of videos for you guys on my holidays. So, yeah, so I can't wait, my peeps. How are you all going out there anyway? I hope you guys are all staying safe. Um, we are pretty good over here in New Zealand. Our COVID cases are going down. So it looks like the vaccination thing is working. Got a few things going on. Um, I'm pretty busy today at work doing wages, so I want to take you there with me and just see how my day's going, see how busy I am. Trying to organise these end of year Christmas parties and everything like that. It's, my gosh, it's just crazy. It's crazy insane, but it's fun at the same time, but a bit stressful. So I'm going to take you with me today, and we've got a few things to do. And I'm also going to take you with me on Saturday to our children's Christmas party at a place called Rainbow Zen, so it'll be quite fun. It's just got heaps of, like, you know, cool entertainment rides and stuff like that. I'm just stressing out a little bit because I'm the one that organises it, and I think that, you know, with the COVID restrictions, it wouldn't be much fun, but I'm just, you know, keeping my faith and knowing that the Lord's got this man and he is going to help me out. So I'm just keeping positive and just trying to make sure that everything's going to work out. And I finally got my Botox. I got my Botox last night, guys. Oh, gosh, I got sleepies. And I finally, guys, got my nails actually done at a salon last week. They opened up on Friday, thank the Lord. So I got these done professionally. I got a manicure, a pedicure, which I absolutely needed. My feet were shocking. And I also got my eyebrows threaded for the first time in three damn months, guys. So I, a bit of waxing's done, so that was good. And then last night I went for a facial at my, finally there open my little Casey Spa Clinic and I got my Botox done. Gosh, I needed it. I'm not, I don't see a change this morning. But man, the needles are really, really, really right here. She put a need, put a shot right there and it's just a bit painful. Probably because I haven't had it done for like four or five months. But yeah, today's a really busy day for me at work so I want to take you guys along with me because I love you guys and I love to like share just everyday stuff with you guys that I'm up to. I've got a couple of stressful dilemmas at the moment guys. Like my daughter, my 18 year old daughter played up the other night and it had to be a bloody Sunday night and she came home from work because she'd been working some ridiculous damn hours and she's only 18. Just finished her exams at school and she had been working from like 5 o'clock in the morning till about bloody 8 or 9 o'clock at night which is just absolutely ridiculous unless she's lying to me. And she came home in the shittiest, grumpiest mood on Sunday night. And my husband was like, you know, you're never here. You might as well move out and shit like this. And then it all started and they had a massive fight and a row and it was crazy. And she went nuts and she said some really bad things to her dad. And I was just like sitting there going, oh my gosh, then it was all on. So he booted her out. Well, she pretty much just left. And then... I haven't seen her since then, so this will be the day number three. Apparently she's staying at a friend's house or the boyfriend's, but I'm but I'm just worried because it's nearly Christmas, guys, and I don't want the shit to happen like during Christmas or anywhere, you know, it's just ruining my vibe. So I've been trying to like, I haven't texted or anything like that. Usually this has happened before. This has happened before with her, but... Usually I'll be texting her straight away saying, come home, come home. But she was just so disrespectful to her father the other night. She said some really nasty things to him. And I was so pissed off and angry. But him as well, I blame him too. It's both of them. Just got to keep very, very, very calm and patient and just aware of everything that's going on. Dealing with these teenagers is like, you know, she might, might as well call her an adult really, she's 18. But my thing is, it's nearly Christmas time and I just do not want to have this negative 
any negative vibes or stress around with my kids or my family so hmm. I'm just kind of worried a little bit today but I'm I know everything will be alright. I've got some new things to show you guys. I've got a new light. It's amazing. I think anybody out there doing vlogging or anything like that needs to have this light panel with them. It's not a ring light. You know how I had that big softy light? Oh, that was a piece of shit, a piece of rubbish, guys, and I'm so angry about I bought it. So angry. I mean, I knew it was cheap from when it, when it first came in, you know. I mean, it was cheap as plastic, very light and everything like that, and the brightness of it was small, tiny. This one, new one I have is called the LumiQ panel. Oh my gosh, amazing, guys. I mean, the brightness of this. Let me just show you. Uh, so I think it's, it's on its biggest, brightest setting at the moment because I'm sitting quite far. But I'll show you the difference if I turn it down. And that's on just faintly. See the difference there? And it's quite bright sun outside. So it's just amazing, guys. You need to have this light. You can just see yourself much better. I love it. Love it. The LumiQ panel. But I will take it off later and just show you guys um, what it looks like and what it can do. It's by colour. So it's amazing. But I'll show you guys after work when I'm not so busy. I'll take it off and show you, eh? It's just awesome. I think anyone who's doing vlogging should have this light. So yeah, guys, that's what I'm up to. Uh, I will go shower it up. Catch you soon, my peeps. Okay, my peeps, so I'm, I'm going to do a very quick, quick, so quick, super quick. I think my lens is dirty. Very quick, hang on. Is it better? So super, super quick um, face lock today because I'm not really in the mood to do anything amazing or over the top. So I'll do my hair first, but I noticed that I've got some little baby hairs here. If you can see, the ones that I've actually accidentally cut when I have been wearing my wig, so I need to get rid of those first. <sighs> so annoying. So I'll get my little tinker out and I'll just turn you guys around. So I'm just going to trim these little, at some point I will grow these back out. But it's not going to be today and at the moment they look very, very messy. They look like stubble. Bloody hell. And I need to dye my hair again too. Gosh, guys, I need to go. Um, the greys are coming through already and I only did my box dye like two weeks ago cheap bloody shit it is but at least it works for like two weeks I don't think you need a box dye for like once every two weeks do you it just seems bloody ridiculous okay so I'm just gonna do my hair really quickly and then I'm gonna do a very fast makeup look excuse my bedroom too guys I am washing my sheets yes I am I'm actually washing my sheets today I just felt like it they didn't even need to be done did them on Friday but I just I love jumping into those fresh crispy sh uh, sheets. So, um, I'm so in love with City Beauty's product store, guys. And I don't know if I showed you, but I bought the multi-action sculpting cream. This is awesome as well. This is awesome, but my favourite is still the Invisi Crepe, eh? Just to get that crepiness down. So I've already put this multi-action cream on. So guys, I'm still enjoying this Crisson Beauty Extreme Hair Strengthening Oil. Ugh, I still love it. It's great. I'm nearly out of this one. I've got a new one. Nothing too extreme today. I've been wearing my hair in a fake pony all week, so. But I love those because they make you look so pulled together and it's minimal effort. They really do make you look pulled together. Effortless except for my daughter putting it in for me. Look how long my hair's finally growing. By mid next year, I think it should be quite long, hopefully back to its old length. I am going to attempt to use again this City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. I tried to use this stuff for my crepey, crepey eyelids, and I didn't really enjoy the texture of it. It felt more like glue, but I'm going to try it again. I really need something for these lids. I've already bought it so I'm gonna just see if it does anything today eh? These are my eyelids now I've just put a bit on. See how crepey they are especially up there. That one I'm gonna try and see if this will help. I don't want to put too much on either. 
see if it makes a difference today guys and I'm wondering how it would go with eyeshadow on top let's see how that goes but we will see in about two days that Botox would really shine love Botox <laughs> I love Botox guys <laughs> sorry for no one that does but I'm um, sorry that's your prerogative and this is my prerogative oh I want to show you this really cool little brush set here from Charlotte Tilbury uh, very very glam and quite flash it's perfect for the handbag guys so you've got the big brush here and just the smaller eye brushes here that is so pretty right to put in your handbag okay what do you think of that lid lifting treatment yeah I think there's a difference Hmm. Okay, let's get a little bit of foundation on and then we will try and apply some eyeshadow on top of this City Beauty lid lifting treatment, eh? Because I wanna I wanna see how it performs on top. Hold on up. Okay, so today I'm gonna go with my Le Mer foundation. I love this stuff. One of my go-to's absolute favorites is my Le Mer, my NARS Soft Complete Matte, and my Giorgio Armani. Cannot live without them. This foundation isn't full coverage guys like the NARS which I'm actually enjoying full coverage these days guys I was never quite into it <laughs> and now I get into it in my 40s hello wrong timing or what but I love this one it still lets everything peek through like all your imperfections but it's just so beautiful doesn't pimple you out so light yep and I'm not going to do concealer or anything like that today. Gosh, I need to cover these greys up. Uh. Oh, this is looking really good. Look, guys. Can you see any difference with that lid lifting treatment? It has improved it slightly. They're not as creepy. They're not that creepy now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm no, I don't want to go lunatic or anything with any... Um, eyeshadows today so I got the new Luna Beauty you know Manny Moore outer dimension palette face palette so really just all your bronzing shades here this looks like a smoke smoky corner shade it could even be for eyebrows I might even give that a go for eyebrows then you got some lighter ones to brighten up the under eyes so I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna use this face palette today I'm gonna also bronze my cheek up cheeks up cheeks <laughs> and I'm going to just hit it the fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with this one here tan sky oh no I'll go for bronze sky on the crease on the trip as a transition it's not gonna be be much of a look today it's very easy and I really want to try some more of Luna Be Luna Beauty's um, lip glosses because I heard they're the absolute bomb I've got one which I'm gonna try and find and pop on but I have just heard from so many people that Luna Beauty's lip glosses are just the absolute best. They top any um, high-end product. So I'm going to check that out if I can bloody find it. So it's a nice little transition there, right? I mean, you could even go like that, but I'm just going to go a little bit darker. So I'm going to hit this one here. Remember, this is a bronzing palette, guys, but it can use for anything tan sky and I might switch it up I'm going to switch it up to a little smaller brush, I don't even have to really I just want some kind of a, that looks good and it goes on well on, on top of that lid lifting treatment guys oh my gosh I'm going to buy some more of that oh wrong brush, I should have ugh. okay, calm down just grab that other brush you put the transition on that brush was way too small yeah, and just put that all over your lid actually. Oh, I should have done a gradient. I will do a gradient actually. Try and I now I've decided I want to do a gradient. Try and leave this front part blank a little bit. So I'm going to try and put a lighter colour in there. But get all of that over your lid. Going for a very natural look. No. Definitely not not much effort and really 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 blend that guys Blending is key 
get that on the lid and now I'm going to go in with a light color so I'm going to try and just do a gradient effect and put a light color here because it always looks nice so he's got quite a few nice light ones here let's just go for this one peach sky this one whoa <laughs> see what it looks like wow that's just really light we're too damn light you really can't oh that no 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 that's good first time using this palette guys I actually want it a little bit lighter than that can you see that? That gradient now? Kind of like that guys, how it's much lighter in, in the inner. Yeah, and then we'll tidy it up. I like that lid lifting treatment. Yes. Yeah. I mean it hasn't completely taken the cr uh, crinkles away, but it has improved it. So I like that, but I'm going to go in with Deep Sky here. This one. And just make out the outer. Just a bit. Whoa. <laughs> Honestly, if I can't get my eyelids sorted, I'm going to have that operation. Because I feel like that is what's wrecking my face. It's my eyelids. Okay, that's all I want to do today, guys. And we'll just blend it all out with that brush. This one we use, no product on it. Just to tidy it up. Don't touch that whiter part though. Might even just get a smaller brush actually and just run it under the eyelid, eh? Yeah, I will. Smoke color. And actually this brush is too big. But I can't be bothered to get another one. Kind of like that. Yeah? Okay guys, let's bronze up and then we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so using this beautiful Luna Beauty palette. I like this palette, it's really, really cool. We are going to go bronze up. I'm going to go in with all oh, tan sky. Yeah, this one here, tan sky. Not the darkest shade. Just pop your brush in, not too much. I think it's pretty pigmented. And go high. Go high, guys. Oh, it is. Go high. It's all right. We can always blend it out a bit later. I should have gone for the less tan one, but. And just kind of press as well. Stipple and swipe, stipple and swipe. Up here, that forehead a little bit. Really blend that in. I mean, you can see that there, eh? So you really wouldn't blend that in. Do you know what makeup palette I have just been dying for and wearing every damn day, guys? That Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Oh, you can't beat it. And also put a bit under your chin to sculpt that jawline out, eh? Really blend that though. You don't want to see a line. No line or anything. One thing I do want to do today, guys, is to contour my nose really quick Hold so up. really fast this has only been I don't want to say it actually nearly 10 minutes I've been doing the eyes and the face so get you a skinny brush any skinnier brush or even small brush and then we're going to go in with that tan sky one again here not too much and just run it down the nose I'll show you here on the top in two lines Try be a bit precise about it. Gosh, mine's not. Kind of like that, can you see it? It's quite faint. There, now I've got a massive nose, so I like to chop the tip off. And I also like to put bronzer on these two nostrils to try and make my nose come in a bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to not wipe it away guys just kind of faintly brush that out eh so you've got two lines and the middle has got nothing but then you don't want to see the lines so you've got to brush it out kind of like that pat it out like that chop those sides off for me because i've got a very wide nose so i want those gone I'm trying to make the illusion that it's smaller eh skinnier 
more turned up. I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on and I might try this one actually from Nabla. Whoa, my gosh, look at Nabla's blushes. Nabla the Reasons. That is so nice, but ooh. Yeah, can we do it? Now I'm going to give it a go. This one here looks very dark, but we're going to faintly. It's just because it's the first one I picked up. Why is it? Oh my gosh, it's bloody cream. Oh, that is so faint. Wow, that is a cream. Kind of like a Vaseline type. It's got hardly any pigment. Let's try this one next one. Oh yeah, that one definitely looks... I'm not sure how I'm meant to be using these new blushes of Nablas. And have not had a chance, this is the first time since I've even gotten them. Whoa. Now don't put too much of this dark one on, guys. Whoa, look. It's lovely. I've just put it on top. I've just mixed it in with the creamy part. So this is balmy. Can you see it? It's like a balm. And this one here is, oh yeah, it's definitely a cream as well. Very highly pigmented. So I will work out how to use these. But they look quite nice, very glossy. I should have gone up higher. No, that's good. A little wispy over the nose. Oh, shit, don't wipe off that nose contour. And that's it. I'm going to do my eyebrows and eyeliner. And then that'll be it for us, eh? Hold up. Now, I'm actually going to curl my lashes today because I've been into that. And I'll show you a quick, quick way. So I'm using a thinner, any thinner wand would be good. I'm going to use two different mascaras, eh? I've got the Nabla Viscous here. And it's got a very tiny wand. So we'll just use that. We'll coat them first. You, you can use the MAC Extended Play, even the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. And really cut your lashes, all of them. Better hurry up and get late. So we'll let that dry down a bit, then we're going to curl them. And then I'm going to chuck on some Monsieur Big. In the meantime, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. Shit, it's getting late. Just like that. Now I'm going to curl my lashes now. And then I'm going to coat them one more time with a uh, different mascara. Curl them, pump them about 15 times. I did 20 times. It's fine. That looks really nice. Okay, quickly. Monsieur Big Mascara or any other thicker mascara that you have. Any mascara will do actually, guys. You know, you don't need to keep to these rolls. As long as it's just double layered and a different one. Or even, I would even say, you could just use the same mascara. But I have seen a lot of people using two different mascaras. I don't know why. They say that, you know, it's just better. Now my Monsieur Big Mascara here is very clumpy. Another good mascara that I absolutely love is a Tarte um, one. Not the rollerball, the black one. But I forgot what it's called. Okay, I need a quick lippy. So I am just going to go for my same lippy that I wore yesterday, which is Giorgio Armani 405. It's kind of a really bricky one. Okay, let's grab these again and curl them once more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, 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 six, 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 six. Be careful when you take your lashes out. Wow, that's really curled them up. So when you take your lashes out, guys, be very gentle because you could rip them out, eh? And we need to clean this at some point. We actually need to clean this rubber thing on the lash curler maybe tonight when you have time clean your lash curler because all the build up will make your lashes get rubbed out that is very curly and I'm just going to fan them out a bit because it my mascara made them go quite clumpy and there you go I mean that's pretty cool okay we've got to go guys but I do want to show you my favourite favourite fragrance that I'm using at the moment uh, where is it? Replica 
very affordable well okay two hundred dollars for this big huge bottle which i think is very affordable and this one is called replica coffee break chocolatey smells like christmas my gosh okay i'll catch you guys in the car we've got to go <laughs> Hi guys, I'm finally in the car. I'm running so late. Bloody hell. Too much coffees with the hubby. So, yeah. Ooh. So, what do you think about our little look we made? Always looks very bright in the car. Oh, I look very fresh with my Botox, I must say. I forgot my ponytail, so. My job wasn't really intending on wearing it today. I've been wearing it all week, so. Oh natural, just a little pony and just tidy and so beautiful. Look at the weather outside, guys. Can you see how sunny it is? Can you see how sunny it is outside? It's really lovely. I've got my cold aircon on. Lotto tonight, so I'm gonna buy me a lot. I'm gonna buy me a lucky lotto ticket. So I've been really, really, really busy at work just you know, I've got less than two weeks before we close up for the year, which is a ah, godsend. So I've been organising the kiddies party, which is going to be on Saturday. And I'll be so damn glad, guys, when it's over. It has been so hard trying to organise a big kiddies Christmas party with over 100 people. At the same time, guys, it's just so stressful trying to organise these kind of events with covid and all the restrictions that we have in Auckland. So I will see you guys at work. Hey guys, I'm finally at work. Yay, well, hmm. <laughs> um, don't you just love this Lumi Cube? I've, I'll show you guys later, I'll take it off and everything. But yeah, very busy today, full on into it straight away. Trying to have my coffee. So much to do today, guys. So many papers. I've got to pay all these bills and do the wages. Sort out some debtors, people that owe us some money. And yes, yeah, so I'm pretty full on today, but I just want to check in and say hello. Hello, hello. Am I here? Oh, glasses. I have these glasses here, guys. They're not proper ones, and I have to get around to actually going down and getting my new set of glasses, which I'll bring them today. And I will do that because I've been closed ever since COVID and I definitely need some glasses because I'm I can I can read big stuff like this but when I go and read like my pill jar and stuff and the really tiny lettering I can't see anything which is bloody annoying. And I use these U they're just UV glasses. I thought I would wear these to try and help with my crinkly eyelids and all the rest of it and eye eye health. So that's me but Yes, I thought I would check in. Um, it's very early. It is, no, it's not, 10.30. And I will kick out some work, amazing work. And catch you soon, guys. Hello, my peeps. I am finally, finally home. <laughs> finally home. Look at me. Oh, ooh, I have been absolutely hammered today. And when I say hammered at work, I mean I was doing four things at once. Like... I ended up having, you know, I usually don't have a lunch break. You should just work straight through. And I just forgot to eat. Really, I forgot to eat. And then I, took about two o'clock, my daughter said, are you hungry, Mum? I went, oh, yeah. So she shouted at us, fillet o fish, and that's all I've had today. So it's all good. But, um, yeah, I'm just checking in. I'm at home now. Uh, I look tragic, so I'm going to pop into the shower. It was a very busy day at work today, guys. I mean, I'm sure that place is giving me damn wrinkles. And, yeah, so annoying. But let me get in the shower anyway. Hello, my peeps. I've finally finished my shower. Oh, feeling a bit better. Oh, far out. So, as promised, I wanted to show you this Lumi Cube. I'll actually show you in the mirror what it looks like, eh? Because it's awesome and I want all of you guys to have this. Hang on. So here we are, guys. This is the Lumi Cube um, attachment I have on my camera. I've also got a little, a proper audio thingy here because my audio was shit so this is the Lumi cube here and I've just 
attached it to the side because I don't have a cold shoe mount on my camera and I'll just show you quickly the light settings so this is on 5600 Kelvin and that's how bright it can go it's amazing no sorry that's how bright it can go it's just awesome it's just absolutely amazing guys so much better than that bloody big softy and then you've also got the other setting yeah see how it's changing now the by light so this is yeah it's awesome it's really great I love it so I like this yeah that's 3200 Kelvin that is which is no good for me at the moment so yeah this is better the 5600 Kelvin so yeah it's awesome guys the LumiCube panel that's on its full brightness on there remember I'm in my room which is a really bad it's got the worst lighting in here so guys I'm really buggered tonight but I really am enjoying this City Beauty lid lifting treatment I think it's actually you know it did something really great to my eyes today so remember guys I'm feeling very tired tonight so I just want to wake my skin up a little bit and I'm not just doing this just because I'm on camera guys I seriously do this I'm gonna use my dermal roller dermal roller and this is the 0 0.5 one 0.5 millimeter and it's a tiny little roller here guys and it's got tiny tiny little needles on the end and you will and I'm just gonna roll my face eh? because this thing is excellent for rolling your face just waking it up prepping it to get all of those awesome serums on gosh this has gone let me brighten that up my room is so weird prep your face I want to prep it just to get all of those creams on tonight because I'm oh my gosh very red up here could be from the needle marks because when I got my Botox last night guys it was quite she did quite a bit because you know I was quite overdue actually five months it had been since I got the last lot and I love derma rolling let me do this quickly you must get one of these guys it's an absolute must right up to the eye forehead really great for scars and hyperpigmentation everything so I'm just hoping that yeah your face goes really really red guys but it's all good I'm used to it so I go quite hard out I haven't actually done this though for a few weeks I've been lazy and I need to get my ass onto that treadmill tomorrow either the treadmill or go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning like I promised myself I would okay that's what I'm going to do there then I'll sanitize that a bit later on but not yet and then now is the time to put on my touch of the essence any essence this is amazing and I feel very dehydrated so I'm going to get that on Look at it. Look at it guys. It's just soaked straight in. It's just soaked straight in. That's how dry my skin is from being under the aircon all day. Put some down your neck as well. Because you've derma rolled, that's going to soak straight in. Gosh, that feels great. Always have a towel handy though guys. Because you can drip it on your carpet and I hate dropping stuff on my carpet. Oh, while I'm at it, I'm so angry. Um... I just got in my new Tom Ford palette this one here and I get these shipped from the US and they always smash my stuff this is the new um, naked pink palette from Tom Ford Sol Solio Niche I think I'm probably butchering the name but this is a brand new one and it came broken look at it all the shadows are smashed I hate those career companies, eh? I'm so angry. I mean, I can't, I don't want to buy another one because this was a real mission to get. 
So I'm just going to try and fix it up. I mean, it looks like a beautiful palette, right? Fucking hell, that pissed me off. I had to show you guys that. Expensive as well. You know, Tom Ford, hello. Alright guys, let's carry on because I am getting quite tired. Now, what are we going to put on? Oh, I'm going to show you something. So from City Beauty as well, I've got the Ultra Firming Dry Oil. And this is really lovely guys, it's not greasy or anything like that. I've only had this for about a week, so I love using it. So I'm going to pop some of that on. It really soaks in really well, like straight away. Kind of runny, so... And it's not like a like a oil. Sometimes I hate putting oils on my face. Just use like that one dropper if you can. And spread it out. I can use a bit more actually. But that... This is to firm the face up. It's really nice. I like that one. I'm going to put a little bit more on. I'm super dry tonight. Why didn't I think about this in the first time, guys? I've put you on my tripod now instead of my little tiny one. Handheld one? Check it out in the mirror. <laughs> You're actually on my... It's actually a light stand which is so much easier and better. Why didn't I think about this before, right? I don't know, I don't know. And I haven't got the Lumi Cube on yet, so let's see. Lighting looks good on this side, the way I've got the, see that's too light now. So just turn that down. Yeah, we'll see how we go. I don't trust this lighting in my room anyway. So I've been facing you guys in places and stuff like that. Jeez, when I think about it. Okay, so we've put on that beautiful um, oil, ultra firming dry oil, and now I'm going to put on my Invisi Crepe. You can use both of these together, but I think it's kind of a waste of time because you only really need one. So this is a multi action sculpting cream, which is great, and this is the Invisi Crepe for those crepey eyelids, but I like to use the Invisi Crepe more, it's more of my favourite. Even though it's not even for the face, guys. So I'm just going to get some like that. Put some over that oil. And because we did that derma rolling, you know how fast it was, that's going to all sit in. Now I like to hit the eyelids, eh? With this Invisi cream. Oh! Oh no, I got it in my eye. Shit. And then I'm going to have to wipe that out. You do get in your eye, it does, it doesn't sting guys, it just, you know, annoys you, like you know it's there. Hope you can't hear my fan. So before I go, um, I just want to say thanks guys for everything and please like and subscribe to my channel. Because I love you guys and yeah, I really do enjoy doing these videos for you. And it's just the best feeling ever. Get that up there, guys. You're very shiny because of that firming oil. Eh? This City Beauty brand, guys, is just so super affordable. I mean, I wish I discovered it earlier. I can't believe that, you know, all my expensive creams and stuff, a lot of them don't even work. Yeah, so I'm so into that brand, City Beauty. So please try it out, guys. It's super, super affordable. Um, their website is just City Beauty and it's just bloody amazing. I love it. I'm obsessed. And yeah, just a heads up. Heard from my daughter, the 18 year old. She's just adamant. She doesn't want to apologize to her dad. Sorry. Hey, what's going on out there? Gosh. Sorry, guys. So she's adamant she doesn't want to apologise to her dad. She thinks he should apologise to her and it's just it's just pathetic. So I think she's out now. So I might start, we might start moving her stuff out. I mean, I'm not putting up that behaviour and that rudeness. It was really disrespectful and I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. She's never here anyway. She's always at the boyfriends and... I don't know, where she is here she's always in her room, which is fine, Doesn't that does not annoy me, it annoys my husband, that she's just always in her room. But you know, he's not the, he's not the best person to be around sometimes. 
But yeah, I'm just going to concentrate on staying focused and everything like that. I bought my lottos and I didn't go buy them at the shop, guys. I bloody bought it online because I had no time. <laughs> totally buggered tonight off my eyes. So that's all I'm going to do. And I will vlog for you probably Friday, which is our day, guys. I love Fridays, but I'm really going to try tomorrow to get my ass to that gym or do a good workout here in the morning. Either either. And then I might just hit the gym next week or try going to the gym on the weekend and I will vlog for you guys, but I'm not too sure. No set plans yet, my papes, no set plans. But yeah, I'm gonna go organize the kids and make sure they're having their noodles. <laughs> I'm so tired, I got so drained at work. I was like doing five things at once and hardly even stopped to eat ate my Philado fish burger in like five minutes, four minutes, five minutes and then just kept on working and really didn't didn't go outside, nothing so I really need my vitamin D pills too, I need to do that and yeah but I love you guys, I'm very tired tonight but I'm so glad that I vlogged for you a little bit and yeah but I will catch you guys later and I hope you guys have a good one eh, see you guys soon, Mwah.